Welcome to this course on Pneumatic Assembly Tool Safety from Clico Production Tools. Clico Production Tools is a global leader in power tool solutions. Our expertise is a culmination of 120 plus years of delivering assembly, material removal, drilling and riveting power tools and systems. Pneumatic assembly tools are portable handheld tools powered by compressed air. The motor drives a rotating spindle on which a screwdriver bit, socket or other assembly device is attached. A pneumatic assembly tool is to be used only for tightening of threaded joints or running down fasteners. All safety devices must be properly installed and maintained in good working order. This course is one of a series of safety training presentations for our products and is specific to pneumatic assembly tool safety. It is recommended that you have viewed the general safety review before viewing this course. We will cover all aspects of a pneumatic assembly tool safety, including the types of tools available, proper installation and use, including bits, sockets and other accessories, while ensuring that the tools and accessories are properly maintained to sustain safety in the workplace. Safety begins with selecting the right tool for the application. Pneumatic assembly tools come in several different types and configurations. There are two types of continuous drive tools, clutch and stall. Clutch type tools have a torque limiting device that stops the motor drive when a preset torque is reached. This type of torque control allows maximum speed from the tool for increased productivity. Since the tool doesn't dwell on the fastener, operator safety is improved as fatigue to the operator is reduced. Clutch tools are available in inline, pistol and right angle. Inline clutch tools are available as push to start or lever start. Pistol grip tools are available in P and T handles. The T handle is for fasteners being installed in a machined threaded hole, whereas the P is for prevailing torque applications where the operator may also need to apply force to the back of the fastener. On a stall tool, drive is maintained until the air motor can no longer drive, i.e. it stalls. Torque output from a stall tool may be controlled with reasonable accuracy using an air pressure regulator. Stall type tools are trigger or lever activated and are only available in pistol and angle tools. The pistol tools are also available in P and T handles. With both clutch and stall tools, the operator would generally need to hold the tool firmly and provide reaction against the fastener until torque is reached. There are recommended limits for the amount of torque an operator can hold, based on the tool type, and this will be covered later. An alternative is to mount the tool in an arm or employ another torque reaction device, such as a reaction bar. There are two types of intermittent drive tools, impulse and impact. Impulse tools employ an impulse mechanism between the air motor and the output that reduces the reaction to the operator, allowing tools with higher speed and torque output. Impulse tools can be shut off or non-shut off. They are best used for fasteners being installed in a machine threaded hole. Impact tools employ an impact mechanism between the air motor and the output that also reduces the reaction to the operator but generates more noise and vibration. They are good for all disassembly applications and are best suited for assembly of higher torque, low accuracy fasteners. Impact wrenches will require higher levels of ear protection. Clico Production Tools supplies general safety instructions in the documentation supplied with each tool. 
Much of the content included in this course is taken from these instructions, which are available in multiple languages. Each tool will be supplied with a product manual that will either include or reference additional general safety instructions for the safe installation, use and maintenance of the tool. Manuals can also be found on our website at clecotools.com. These manuals form the starting point for the safe installation, use and maintenance and should be part of the manufacturer's safety procedures and training. The documentation supplied with the tool will cover the specific personal protective equipment or PPE that should be worn when operating the tool. This could be eye and ear protection as well as gloves and protective clothing. This should be part of the wider manufacturing safety review. Independent of the tool, one important safety consideration is the air hose used to supply the tools. These hoses are typically pulled around the work area and can become subject to damage over time. The air hose should be inspected before each use and replaced if there are any signs of damage, fraying or deterioration. A burst hose can be a significant safety hazard. The operator should also be aware of the hose position when operating a tool, as this can become a tripping hazard. Only qualified and trained personnel should install, adjust or use this equipment. The work area must be clean, uncluttered, thoroughly ventilated and well illuminated. Make sure the work environment is free of any flammable or combustible elements. Only use industrial grade bits and sockets. For impact and impulse tools, the sockets must be impact rated. Replace a worn or damaged socket or bit immediately to prevent breakage. Make sure the drive socket or bit is securely attached to the assembly tool before operating. Also available from Clico Production Tools are Apex U-Guard covers. These allow the drive tool to spin freely inside of the covers, significantly reducing or eliminating contact from the rotating tool during a fastening operation, improving operator safety. In addition, these tools help minimize in-system damage and marring caused during fastening. Socket gap covers are also available and are specifically designed to eliminate the gap between a socket and an extension or between a right angle power tool and a socket or extension. Covering this gap prevents an operator's gloves or hair from being caught during fastening operations. Use of the free spinning U-Guard socket gap covers can further enhance plant and operator safety by helping minimize fastening tool related injuries on the assembly line. Safety glasses or a face shield must be worn when operating these tools. Wear hearing protection and other protective equipment as required by the work environment and assembly application. If the work environment or assembly application requires the use of protective gloves, Avoid contact with rotating parts of the tool. Do not wear loose clothing, jewellery or rings and keep long hair away from the tool. Avoid direct skin contact with lubricants, grease or adhesives. Keep the tool clean and dry to provide the best possible grip. The tool should be held in a way such as to ensure safe and comfortable operation maintain a neutral position while operating this equipment. Tools with lever starts should not be used where obstructions can hold the throttle in the on position. An assembly tool operating in reverse will move backwards as a nut is removed and can trap an operator's hand 
making it difficult to release the lever. Avoid excessive pressure when engaging the assembly application with the drive socket or bit rotating. Fully engage the drive socket or bit with the assembly application before starting the tool. Do not lay the tool down until the drive socket or bit has come to a complete stop. Make certain the tool has stopped before moving to a different location. Never carry or drag the tool by grasping the air supply line. Power tools can vibrate during use. Vibration and repetitive motions may be harmful. Stop using this equipment immediately if you experience discomfort, a tingling sensation or pain and seek medical advice before resuming operation. Use a balancer or torque reaction arm when possible. Disconnect the air supply line before contacting the rotating parts of the tool. For continuous drive, clutch and stall tools, the amount of torque the operator can hold will vary according to the joint type, tool dimensions and position of the application relative to the operator. Use the values shown here as guidelines and wherever possible employ a balance arm to reduce or eliminate the torque on an operator. Additional accessories can be employed to enhance safety. A balancer can take the weight of the tool from the operator, reducing operator effort and enhancing safety. Balance and torque arms, as well as taking the tool weight, can also reduce or eliminate the reaction torque to the operator. They also help align the tool during the fastening operation, helping engage the fastener quickly and easily. Some continuous drive tools allow a torque reaction bar to be mounted. These must be configured to react against a fixed object in the assembly process. The arm should be moved to be touching the object it is going to react against before starting the tool. It must also be remembered that if the fastener needs to be loosened, the reaction bar will need to react in the opposite direction. Torque reaction bars are recommended to prevent torque being transferred to an operator, but care must be taken with their use. The operator should not touch the torque reaction bar while the tool is running. Always disconnect the tool from the air supply before performing any adjustments, repairs or installation of a pneumatic assembly tool. Immediately shut off the tool in the case of an unusual sound or vibration. Turn off the air supply, bleed the air pressure and disconnect the tool from the air hose. Have a qualified person check the tool and repair before placing back in service. If repairs are necessary, use only Clico production tools manufactured replacement parts. Implement a comprehensive safety maintenance program to provide regular inspection for all phases of tool operation and air supply equipment. Replace worn or damaged parts using only genuine brand replacement parts manufactured by Clico Production Tools. A daily and weekly checklist will ensure that safety is considered regularly and consciously in the manufacturing environment. Follow these steps to put safety first and always refer to the tool service manual for more specific information regarding the tool models being used. Hydraulic pulse tools need specific attention every 500 hours of operation. Only qualified and trained technicians should repair this equipment. Contact the local distributor or Clico service centre for assistance. Properly dispose of hydraulic oil 
following federal, state or local standards and requirements. Do not let hydraulic oil flow down drains. Thank you for taking the time to review this safety video focused on pneumatic assembly tools from Clico Production Tools. We will leave you with the following takeaways concerning the safe installation, use and maintenance of our tools. Please review these and ensure you always put safety first.